Good morning Year 7 and welcome once more to Coldy Grange Grammar School. As I was saying earlier, my name's Mr Gray and I'm the head teacher of the school. And this morning I'd just like to talk a little bit about the school, what it means, its values and also what you can expect as a student here at Coldy. So first of all, well done on getting a place in this great institution. The school has got a history going back to 1636 and it's known throughout the region and beyond. Again, as I was saying before, the school is oversubscribed. A lot of people have great respect for this school and they want their children to come here. So well done to you for getting a place in the school. Now, hopefully, it will be a seven year journey for you here at Coldy. You won't just leave in year 11. Many of our students do stay and go on into the sixth form as well, but that is all in the future. Let's focus on year seven to start with and welcoming you to the school. All the staff, again, to reiterate this, work here to help you get to where you want to be in your life and support you. That's why we do this job. That's why I'm the head teacher of a school. That was my career path and it's something I'm passionate about in terms of helping young people get to where they want to be. So remember that please with all of our staff, they are all here to help you. That's the teaching staff and all the support staff as well who make this school run. We could not run this school without the support staff. So we all work together to provide an education for you. All I would say really with the school is use this opportunity. Cherish every day. Get what you can from every lesson. Try and adopt a positive approach. This is the key to being successful in the future. See this as an opportunity. As I keep reiterating to you, it is a great honour to come to this school. It's an honour for me to work here. So please use that time productively and obviously work towards your future success. Really, what it comes down to throughout your school career and life in general really, is making the right choices. As I will say in a moment, the school has rules, it has expectations of you and your conduct and the way you learn. It's all about making those right choices. By making the right choices and staying on the right side of our discipline policy, for example, that obviously makes your life in school a lot more pleasant and a lot happier too. So, going back to the school's history, this is quite a unique and remarkable school. You can see here an artist's impression of what the school used to look like when it opened in 1636. In 1636, King Charles I was our monarch at the time, and that this school has survived the test of time, nearly 400 years, and many successful people have been through this school. The reason I'm showing you this is because, for you, this is a journey. We are all part of Coldy's history. You are now making your own personal history and going through your life and going on to great success, I'm sure. But before you, lots of great people have walked these corridors and been to this school. You can also see a picture of lessons going back over 100 years there, look, to a chemistry lesson. So, before you, you know, there are students who've been through this school. I know many of the students because I have contact with them through uh, various channels. They do care passionately about this school and what it did for them. So people I'm in contact with who are now successful engineers or in different you know, creative industries, many, many different fields, whether it be law, uh, whether it be politics, People have gone on to great things from this school and they all look back at their, on their time at this school very fondly. So again, I can't reiterate enough, for you, you are following in the footsteps of very successful people on your journey in life. And we are very proud of the school's history and it's something we do refer to. So to introduce the system to you, on the yard, before you met a few of the key staff in, your, in the school, for example, your tutors, uh, Mrs Storey and myself. In the school itself, we have two deputy head teachers and you will meet these people over the coming days and weeks. Mr Adamson and Mr Proctor are my deputy heads. We then have four assistant head teachers. We have Mrs Daly, Mr Douglas, 
Mr Hayes and Mrs Storey, who you met before. They all have various roles in the school, whether it be planning your curriculum, whether it be looking after you with pastoral care, whether it be running the various systems in the school to keep the school running, all these people play a really important role in leading and managing the school. Now for you, you're in a house, as you probably know, and you will stay in that house throughout your time at Coldy. Coldy is a big school, well over 1,500 students in the school. That makes it a lot bigger than your primary school, and it does take some getting used to the dynamics, but you soon get used to it, don't worry about that. We find the house system helps you settle better and also provides uh, more of a cross-year approach to things and obviously gives you very good pastoral support while you are in school. So you will stay in your house systems, obviously, as you go through your year groups when you are in the school. And there are a number of staff, as I was saying before, who look after you. I mentioned before your form tutors who you've met today. We've got a wide pastoral team who look after various aspects of your, your care um, and your well-being in school. We have Mr Stalker, who is the head of the pastoral faculty in the school. And then Mrs Storey, who, as I was saying before, is an assistant head teacher and part of the senior leadership of the school. These people are all here to look after your well-being and your safety in school. So opportunities for you and there are many at Coldy and that's what makes me so proud to be the head teacher of this school. Whatever you enjoy doing this school will have something for you. We have a wide range of sports going beyond the traditional sports of football and rugby. We have lots of other sports that are available for students too in the school and a wide set of choices when it comes to performing arts as well. So if you like drama, if you like music, Coldy Productions are well known throughout the area for being of a very high quality and you can be part of that. And it never ceases to amaze me, because I'm not somebody who's good with theatre or, or acting, uh, when I see these people performing it is quite breathtaking really to see how brilliant these people are and how confident they are when they perform in front of audiences and there's lots of opportunities to do that while you're in this school. We have a combined cadets force which dates back to 1916 World War One so again tying in with our history there we have a very long-standing combined cadets force and again large groups of students join that body and that includes students from other schools too so we are quite unique in having a combined cadets force based at the school. To reassure you, your views do count and we try to make the school a better place for you. And that's through various mechanisms like your school council. Also, we like to reward good behaviour, good conduct, good work, all to make you feel valued in the school. But we do listen. I showed you before on the yard there, the year seven area, and that came from the student council really and ideas that were put forward by students about having their own social areas in school. And that's something we listen to, we act and we put it into place. We also have a wide range of trips and travel opportunities for you. Trips go all over the world from Coldy um, for various reasons, whether it be to do with the performing arts, whether it be a specific um, field work project that's being carried out in, uh, in a foreign country. People uh, have lots of opportunities to go on trips while they are at Coldy and again it's something we're very proud of because we want to enrich you as a young person. It's not all about learning your traditional subjects. School is a lot more than that and you will find that at Coldy. It's much more than a school. That is what I always say because there's so many opportunities here that go way beyond the classroom. Getting towards the end now, what I'd like to reiterate to you is the Coldy Code. This school, as I've said before, is a fantastic place to come, but it is built on high standards and high expectations of you as students in this school. And we have a very basic code. We have a behaviour policy, which is obviously more substantive than this, but to sum it up, these are the things we ask of you. First of all, follow instructions. The people who are here, your teachers, any staff in school, 
they are here to support you and provide structure and an ordered environment. So you must follow instructions when staff ask you to do something and not question it. Secondly, have a high standard of uniform and appearance. That matters. Every organisation that you look at, whether it be in a school, whether it be a professional organisation, they have some kind of uniform or kit and that is giving a sense of belonging but also actually it conveys the standards of the place. So when you leave this school, well, when school finishes uh, at the end of the day and you have our uniform on, that matters in our community and people will comment on it, good or bad at times, um, about that. So you are really um, carrying with you the image of Coldy as one of its students and our uniform and your high standard of appearance mean a lot to us and it is something that we do enforce in school. Thirdly, no mobile phones are less directed by a member of staff. We realise in classrooms when you are researching mobile phones can be a useful device, however they can also be fraught with difficulties when they are used in an unstructured manner. And that is why around the school, in the corridors, um, on the yard, at break and lunchtime, you are not allowed your mobile phone out. And please do not get it out because it will be confiscated. Even if somebody is messaging you, they should not be messaging you during the school day. If there is something urgent you need to attend to, you can always ask a member of staff. For example, I'm out on duty, as are many other staff, but students will sometimes come to me and say, Sir, do you mind if I just check something? And they will stand by me and check something, and it's absolutely fine. So we are reasonable. If you ask staff, they will always help. But if you use your device in an unstructured manner, and we don't know what you're doing on that device, that can lead to a lot of difficulties in a school. And there are many examples I could give you of poor use of mobile phones and of course linked to that social media and that is why we have a strong line on that. It is also expected nationally the government expects schools to have um, a tough line on mobile devices in schools so we don't have people walking around the school on phones or with headphones in. We don't use headphones in school unless there is something specific you are doing on a computer and your teachers directed you you do not walk around school with headphones in. So just to make that clear, uh, no mobile devices in unstructured times when you are going around the school. It has to be directed by a teacher. We ask as well that you look after our environment. You'll see today, I go around many schools and have done over my career, and sometimes there's litter everywhere and it gives a really bad image of the place. So we do ask that you keep the school tidy and you put litter in the bins, there are plenty of bins around the site, please do respect that. It's all about respect isn't it, it's about self-respect but also respecting the institution. So please look after the environment. And the final point there is very simple, be kind. Now that encapsulates a lot of words really, we can put it very simply can't we by being kind. So in this school, bullying, acts of unkindness towards peers, rudeness to staff, and prejudice of any form will not be tolerated in this school, to make that clear to you. We want people to be happy here, and obviously when people are unkind to each other, it creates unhappiness, and we do not want that in the school, and we will act on that if that happens. So please, be respectful to people. You come here to enjoy yourself, and you come here for you essentially. It's your future, it's your life, and that is what you are trying to build on. And as I said at the end of the presentation here, school should be a place that you enjoy coming. Yes, you don't like every subject, that is natural. We can't like everything in life. However, we do expect people to engage, not disrupt learning, and obviously respect each other, as I was saying before. That type of culture is key at Coldy. Just to be good to people, be kind, and be respectful to other people. Thank you for listening. I wish you a great time at Coldy. I hope the next few days are helpful to you in settling in and I will see you around the school. Thank you.